Harvest is here, Michaelmas time. We gather together as sunlight fades and the fey folk bring soup in acorn caps and drops of cider on grassy blades. For it is the night of the fairy feast when our world and fey are no longer twain. But as the sun sets on the emerald hills, the smell of sulfur rises on the rain. The fey folk gather, they know he is near smoke and fire on the breeze, but the fey folk know you cannot cage a beast, for a dragon must be what a dragon must be. <laughs> Dragon, arise of fire and flame. Dragon, arise with the growing night. But we will defend the mortal realms. Courage, friends, we will fight. The dragon saw the strength within their feet and the courage in their eyes and was pushed back despite himself and leapt into the autumn sky. He flew until the smell of salt began to fill the icy clouds and the forests of old all gave way to leagues of ocean crashing loud. He saw a harbor of brave wooden ships, a village of sailors on the ocean's edge. He knew this was his moment. This was his purpose, and in his heart, he made a fiery pledge. But as he swooped farther down and landed on the silky sands, he was confronted by blazing torches gripped in every human's hand. Dragon, arise of fire and flame. Dragon, arise with the growing night. But we will defend the mortal realms. Courage, friends, we will fight. The dragon reeled and stumbled back. It could not believe his bright, his bright golden eyes. How could they be brave in the face of a dragon? Again, he took to the darkening skies. A field of farmers is gathering corn. The shepherds put the sheep to bed when suddenly they smell fire on the wind and their hearts begin to fill with dread. They hide the animals under a willow. The harvest stored safe for future feasts. They gather their sickles and staves of wood and band together to face the beast. <laughs> The dragon, incensed, roared with rage and lunged towards the setting sun. His purpose foiled again and again by bands of humans one by one. He flew through pastures and the grain, over mountain, over heath, until he saw a little light shining in a forest old and deep. 
It was the lantern in the window of an ancient library that held all the stories of the world and fables from antiquity. A band of scholars among the books heard his bellowing and his roars, put down their quills of midnight ink and ran through the giant wooden door. A dragon's purpose is flame, he thought, to burn, destroy, to break and take. I will find a village that's mine and humans to scare until they quake. Flying forward ever faster, breathing smoke and seeing red, a dragon is meant to bring fire and flame, so why are their hearts not filled with dread? He saw a spark in the distance, a glowing city with walls of white, the setting sun shining on the marble, casting the city in brilliant red light. He roared with the joy of a loveless thing and landed on the cobbled streets, an entire civilization behind those walls, ready to become his feast. But as he breathed a mighty breath to smite the city and melt the stones, a band of soldiers poured out of the gates to defend their people and their home. Their arrows stung like bees, their spears and swords scraping his hide. The dragon roared a mighty roar and held back tears in his giant eyes. His screeching brought them to their knees. They turned, he turned away so not to cry. He flew until he could barely breathe. He flew until he fell from the scarlet sky. He lay in the road at the edge of the world, full of doubt full of shame. What good is a dragon who cannot destroy? What good is a dragon without his flames? But as the beast shuddered and wept and the stars finally began to appear, he heard a song of many voices filled with joy, filled with cheer. Let every good fellow now join in a song. Viva la company! Fix us to each other and pass it along. Viva la company! Viva la, viva la, viva la more! Viva la, viva la, viva la more! Viva la more! Viva la more! Viva la company! A friend on your left and a friend on your right. Viva la company! In love and good fellowship, let us unite. Viva la company! Viva la, viva la, viva la more! Viva la mar, viva la mar, viva la compagnie. It was a band of traveling players, musicians and actors and acrobats. They wore their hearts upon their sleeves and carried their lives upon their backs. They suddenly stopped when they saw his shape and all of them were filled with fear. But they saw how heartbroken and alone he was and they were brave enough to slowly draw near. They bandaged his wounds with cloth and salve. They let him try a flagon of ale. They shared their meals and opened their hearts. They wrote him a ballad of his travels and tales. Dragon, we see you as what you are, not a monster always ready to fight. Your purpose in the world is not to burn, but to use your fire's guiding light. Though you be fierce and though you be strange, in the past you will always have a home.
dragon laughed a mighty laugh and knew that he was finally free to be gentle or to be kind. A dragon can be what it wants to be. All his life he had wanted power. All his life had been filled with rage. But fire is not just a thing of destruction and even a dragon can learn to change. He looked around and took a breath. The day had finally come to its end. He let out a stream of blazing fire to create a bonfire for his friends. The dragon and flayers parted ways, and as they set off with torches held high, he saw his fire carried into the night, and he felt such love he almost cried. From that day on, he was not a beast. His purpose was not flames nor fear. The dragon brought light wherever there was none. The dragon sang songs so all could hear. The dragon grew old as he traveled the world and all would bow when they saw him approach. For he was a storyteller and a bard who inspired love and inspired hope. But one fall day, as the trees turned red, and the whispers of winter were at the door, he reached a village past the edge of his travels, and he circled, too tired to fly anymore. dragon's face and were shocked at what they did find. There was no anger, there was no fear, but only love, sad and kind. And in that moment they dropped their blades and realized what they had nearly done. Passing judgment, oh too quickly they nearly were the monstrous ones. They unbound our dragon and bowed in regret. Smoke spiraled from his nose. And in the heart of the village, they built a bed of embers where he could rest his weary soul. And to this day, if you visit this town, they welcome you with open arms. They feed the hungry, love the loveless, a promise that no strangers would again be had. Our ancient dragon lives there still, his scales turning gold as he grows old telling stories and giving fire to last them through the winter's cold. And though there are dragons in the world who feed on hate and apathy, and though there are beasts inside us all who would burn us up if we let them feed, this dragon learned a different song, learned a balance of light and dark, learned he was only a beast when there was no compassion in his heart. When you are afraid, or when you are alone, or when others do not see your worth, find the fire inside yourself and let it blaze onto the earth. Friends, arise of fire and flame. Befriend your dragons. Fight for what's right. For we are the keepers of sacred darkness. We are the keepers of brave firelight. And though this may seem like the end of the story, like always, another begins anew. Friends, take a bow for those you love. Friends, give your hands for those who love you. Brave 
dragons, you may sit where you are.